welcome to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and today I'll show you how to make those wild leg trousers using my new sewing pattern called Remy. You can buy this pattern from my shop on Etsy and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. To start, take two front panels and sew the front rise together. I know a lot of you don't have an overlocking machine, so I'll make those trousers using only a domestic sewing machine. I'll use a zigzag stitch instead of an overlocker and run that stitch through the seam allowance to prevent fabric from fraying and seams from snapping. Moving on to the pockets, on the piece with a straight edge, place over a piece with the edge cut on the angle, right side to right side, and pin them together. Then sew them together and finish with a zigzag stitch. Next, we need to attach pockets to the trousers. With trousers on the right side, pin together both edges that had been cut on the angle. Repeat the same steps on the other side and sew the pockets. Flip the pockets inside and roll the seams to get all the fabric out. Moving on to the back of the trousers, take two back panel pieces and sew the back rise together. Again, run a zigzag stitch through the seam allowance. Then join front and back panels together on the sides and inseam. Moving on to the waistband, pin the front and back pieces together on the sides, right side to right side. With trousers and waistband facing the wrong side, pin waistband to the trousers, starting from the side seams. Flip the waistband 
and move to work on the front of the trousers. Match trouser side seam together and mark the middle of the waistband with a pin. Then pin that point to the front right seam. Next we'll make front pleats, so turn the trousers to the right side. Measure 8 cm from the front right seam and mark that point with a pin. Then repeat the same steps on the other side. Then create pleats on both sides of the trousers so the pleats start where the pin is. And then pin the rest of the waistband so it matches the trousers. Next we'll make the belt loops. Take a belt loop piece and fold it in half. Trim the seam allowance and bag out using a safety pin or a loop turner. Stitch the belt loop on both edges. Then keep folding belt loop in half to get 8 equal pieces. belt loops to the trousers, two at the front on each side, one to the side and two at the back. With trousers on the right side, pull out the waistband and fold it over the stitch line. Leave a small gap when top stitching to insert the elastic. Wrap a slightly stretched elastic around your waist. Make sure that it's not too tight and cut it. My elastic for the waistband measures 69cm. Use a safety pin to insert the elastic.
overlap the ends of the elastic and stitch them together using a zigzag stitch. Then top stitch the gap and fold the belt loops and stitch them to the waistband. Moving on to the hem of the trousers, fold the edge twice by approximately 1cm and top stitch. Now we need to make a belt. Take two belt pieces and sew them together. Open the seam and fold the belt in half. Use a safety pin to turn the belt right side out. Press the belt first with the seam open and then again on the fold. Trim the belt ends and tuck in the fabric inside and top stitch the ends. And that's it! Perfect pair of wide leg trousers using our new Remy pattern. Thanks for watching!